Howdy folks, thanks for joining me on another episode. Got another hunt coming to you from the Real McCoy Ranch. And as you guys can see from the very beginning, we have a lot of different animals, a lot of different species, and some really, really good animals. So if you guys want to book a hunt at the Real McCoy Ranch, I can get you set up. I recommend going down into the description of this video and you can find my contact information as far as like my email and my social media goes. It's all there. Uh, you guys can hit me up and I'll get you booked in and I'll also be there to be your personal guide as well as film your hunts, spend time in camp with you, all that great stuff, all those great things and you can even be in a video if you would like. But before we go too much further, I wanted to give you guys the verse of the day and it comes from John chapter 3 verse 17. I think this one's pretty well known by a lot of us and I have to say it's a good one. It says God sent his son into the world not to judge the world but to save the world through him. Whether you believe it or not, I hope that you do, but whether you believe it or not, Jesus Christ is our Lord and Savior and all you have to do is believe it and give your heart to him. Pretty simple and straightforward and good verse of the day. Love that verse and I challenge you guys to commit it to memory. Jesus was our perfect sacrifice and it was the greatest gift that we will ever receive and never ever be able to pay back by any means. We are blessed, we are fortunate. I also wanna encourage you guys to share that verse with someone today. It could change somebody's life and that's an amazing thing. Now, back to the video. I've been excited to edit this footage um, and I'm, I'm now finally able to get around to it. This was a fun hunt and a great trip with some great people. Many of you may remember Rick from uh, some videos in the past. It's been, I think it's been right at two years since he has come and hunted with us. But he loved his first trip so much that his second go around he brought his dad and his brother along with him and they also harvested some animals. I'm gonna let you guys see those here in just a minute. I said I was excited to edit this footage and I really was for the sole purpose of the fact that this is the very first, if I'm not mistaken, um, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty certain that this is the very first recurve hunt that I've ever put on the channel. Rick had been practicing and putting in the time behind the bow, putting in the practice and the effort and all of that stuff that comes along with traditional archery bow hunting. And I gotta say, I'm proud of Rick because that's one thing that I uh, haven't dipped my toes into and I'm not sure I probably I might I might do it this year uh, just taking some hogs but here's the thing guys I practiced recurve hunting not even really practice it wasn't a bow that was set up for me I wouldn't say like it was just a, one of those random things just like pick up a recurve that belonged to somebody else and I couldn't hit the broadside of a barn now if I got one that fit me and practiced it then I might do okay i mean most would say i'm an average shot with a compound and that's agreeable but i'm not perfect at anything and i, I just i'm not certain without trying and practicing with a, a traditional recurve or a long bow that actually fit me i think that you guys would really like it and i'm sure i probably would too so we might give it a go this year at some point in time but for now i want you guys to just enjoy rick's hunt after a group of hogs
think you just absolutely smoked that off. Backstory, we played cat and mouse with these hogs for what well, it seemed like an hour. It seemed like an eternity, but it was probably more like, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. They were in, they were out. They were in, they were out. They were in bow range and they weren't. And Rick needed them close. Like He's been practicing, but he had the utmost confidence at 10 yards or maybe it was 12 yards in the end. And they would come into about 15 to 14. And I got to say, once again, I'm proud of Rick because he was... He was very disciplined. Like if it would have been me, um, even though my my sweet spot and I wanted them at that 10 to 12 yard range and they were standing at 15, I might would have like tried to go for it. But he was very disciplined and just waited and waited and waited and the opportunity finally arose and he made a phenomenal shot. Overall, Wick, Rick, Wick, Rick had a great uh, weekend. He took a, an odd dad and a hog and his dad ended up taking a red deer cow a very nice red deer cow I should say we punched holes in quite a few hogs and all dad and most certainly punched a hole in a red deer cow so I'm gonna let this footage roll I hope that you guys will enjoy it <laughs> I feel your heart over here, dude. Well, drawing, letting down, drawing, letting down. <laughs> drawing, waiting for the turn, make the right oh, shot. That was a beautiful shot. Dude, hey, you hey, smoked him. Over you. <laughs> you smoked him. Now what are you going to do the rest of the weekend? Relax. <laughs> wow. Eso, mijo. That's awesome. Awesome. That is awesome. I'm trying to get my cameraman to turn his uh, phone sideways for the, the best shot or the best video. So I'm sorry for the, the vertical clips. Lots of action in this video. We had a great time with Rick and his family. Can't wait to do it with them again. I think they're going to come and hunt with us this fall. So once again, if you guys want to come out and hunt at the Real McCoy Ranch, we'd love to have you. We have an abundance of animals and species, lots of hogs all around it's a great time the lodging is, is phenomenal the food is just as good and i'm looking forward to some uh, late spring hunts we have a couple coming up and if you guys want to get in on some of the action before it gets too terribly hot down in south texas i would recommend going down into the description below my email is there my social media is there you can hit me up on either one i can get you booked in and also i'll be there as your personal guide i'll enjoy the weekend with you sit the stand with you, film for you, do all that great stuff, even be in a video if you would like. I want to say a big thank you to Rick and his family for coming and joining us. They were a pleasure to have in camp and share camp with. It's not all about the hunting always, but the, the stories and the previous hunts and fishing trips and the getting to know one another, the fellowship is phenomenal. I just love it. I'm excited for the upcoming content that's going to be hitting you guys in the, in the next couple of weeks. Turkey season is upon us. and There'll be some turkey hunting footage as well. Going to be cool. Going to be really cool. So make sure that you guys are subscribed. And also, uh, I'm, I'm still in shock that we made 100,000. There's 100,000 of you now and that is super incredible. So thank you for every one of you that has been watching for many years or just many days couldn't do it without each and every one of you and i really appreciate it here's to the next hundred thousand and then as we continue to grow maybe one of these days we'll make a million thank you guys so much for watching y'all are awesome and i'll see you in just a few days